Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the brand new Qualsys IQ4 panel and how to program and update your master code and extra user codes, as well as delete them. Uh, I'll also discuss the duress code in this and the installer code as well. Um, but uh, the first thing we want to do here is go ahead and pull down from the top. You'll see a little black box appear in the middle here. You want to click settings. Once in settings, you want to click advanced settings. It will prompt you for your code at this point. Mine is still 1111. That'll jump us into a new menu. Once you're in this menu, you want to go ahead and go into user management. Once in user management, you'll see three codes pop up, admin, duress, and installer. Now the installer, I, I don't mess with. I mean, if you guys want to go ahead and change that, you can. Uh, it's not a big deal. Just make sure you remember it because this is the code you're going to use to program it. So if you're going to update the installer code, you can do so. I uh, just click the pencil and you can go in there and update the code. Uh, the master code, I'll show you how to update first. So we'll go ahead and we'll go in here. I'm going to leave it as admin. You can change the name of it, of, of course, but I'm going to delete this code, whatever's in here. And I'm just going to make it 4321 at this point. All right. Make sure you erase in both fields because you have to duplicate the code. So they have it in one spot and then confirm user code. After you've put it in both slots, go ahead and click save. That'll lock that code in there. So now my master code is 4321. So if you want to add an additional code, go ahead and click add user. They're going to make you put in a name, first and last initial. All right, so we'll put in our user code here. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and go 9876. Uh, oops. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. 9876. All right. Then confirm the code here, 9876 regular user code you can put an expiration date on this if you only want this code to be active for a little short amount of time you can click unlimited and you'll see a calendar pop up and you can set to how long you want that code to be active for uh, otherwise you can just leave it unlimited and it'll remain in the system so at this point we're going to click add user the user's been added successfully so now you see drew is added in there now if you want to delete this code it's it's even easier to do all you're going to do is just go over here to the right click the trash can It'll ask you if you want to delete this user. I do. Go ahead and click OK. Uh, if you want to set the master code back to what it was, click the pencil. Just go ahead and come in here and do this. I had it set to 4321, so let's go here. All right. And then save it. Now at this point, uh, I've put it back to what it was. I've deleted our other user. So I've showed you in this, uh, or shown you, I'm sorry, in this video how to add a brand new user. Um, I've discussed the installer code. Uh, I've also showed you how to edit the master code. The last thing is the duress code, which is that code that I said if somebody does come in, uh, you know, you put this code in, it'll send a silent panic. That's here. You can edit that as well, the same way. And uh, once you're done doing anything in code, just hit this little back arrow down here all the way out until you're at the main screen, like so. And uh, you are good to go. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. But that is how you add and program and delete codes in the Qualsys IQ4 panel. Take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.